we are here to have some chit chat about those things that we often try to avoid our hurts our hang-ups and our habits will you please share this venue with others will you please subscribe and will you please meet us here as we chit and chat about our hurt hang-ups habits and how to heal from them will you do that for me see you soon Hey y'all, good evening, good morning, good night, good afternoon. Y'all yeah, know it might even be midnight where you are, but wherever you are, I am so glad that you decided to come and watch us, to watch this segment. I am Jewel Wilson Murphy. Once again, I am here with all photos considered, where all your photo needs, your media needs are right here. And you all know if you say my name, mention my name or this segment, you get a whole whopping 10% off of your photo needs so we say good afternoon good morning or whatever time of day we are greeting you and we're excited today because this is the first time that i've had a guest in this in this studio with me and we're excited that we are here and we're going to chit and chat today about those things y'all know we always do chit and chat about those things that may be uncomfortable hurts hang-ups and habits and at the end of this segment, we want you all to comment below, ask a question, whatever it is that you want to know, do it in the comments. Because I think after we finish this conversation, you will have a lot of comments. So I am here with my friend, Pastor Yakio Watkins. I love her and she loves me back. Sometimes I make it difficult for her, but she does love me and I love her too. So today we're going to talk about abortion. And I've been wanting to talk about this for a little while. You know that the government has made some declarations, some decrees, and they've declared some things. And so today I want to talk about with my friend abortion. And we're going to talk about it from the spiritual perspective as well as the secular um, perspective. And so one of the things we have heard, you know what they say, they say that the black community oftentimes uses abortion as a contraceptive measure or to lessen the, the children in the home or whatever. Well, I don't know, I'm not the expert, but my friend here today is gonna tell us her perspective, both spiritually and secularly. She has some good information for us. And at the end of this, when you see it, please comment. She'll have um, access to the comments and she'll be able to comment as well or I'll be able to give you the answers that you have because I had a lot of questions and she has invited me to participate in some for forums with her to learn a little bit more about it because I was a novice and still am. So that's why she's here today to talk about abortion. So Pastor, give us a little overview about where you stand and what you think about and the things that you want to share with us today spiritually and secularly. Well, thanks for, first of all, for having me here. I'm excited to be a part of this conversation. This is a conversation that I don't think we have enough, particularly exactly. those that are in the church. I just don't think we have this conversation enough. Mm -hmm. The second thing, I'm, I'm not an expert, but I have some experience in this area. Mm -hmm. So today, I just want to share two perspectives. I have two perspectives. Okay. I have the perspective from then, and I have another perspective now. Well, about 40 years ago, at about 25 years old, mm -hmm. I had an abortion. I had an abortion because my career was going really well at Honeywell. Um, I was unmarried. I did not want to embarrass my family. And I was pregnant for a married man. Mm -hmm. And so what I decided to do was to abort that child. So I, get, I uh, decided to abort that child, and when I did, I felt okay, because I was not a Christian. Mm -hmm. I felt then that this was my body, whether the father of the child agreed or not, but he did because he was married, I was going to make the decision that was best for me and best for my career. That was my perspective then. I have a new perspective now as a Christian, so when I became a Christian, which was after the abortion, mm -hmm. <coughs> excuse me, when I became a Christian, all of a sudden I got this nagging about this abortion. 
and and I did not want to call it what it was, but when we come to Christ, yes. we come naked. And so I had to call it what Christ called it. Mm -hmm. And it was murder. And at the abortion clinic, they didn't tell me that I would have these guilt-filled feelings, these feelings of shame, mm -hmm. this feeling of condemnation. They didn't tell me that when I saw little kids running around, I would always revert back to what the, the age of my child would have been. Mm -hmm. So I come to Christ. Um, I know that I'm a new creation, creation in Christ. So I come and I ask God, the first thing I asked God to do was to forgive me. Absolutely. Because I was, you know, that was a sin. Mm -hmm. And so what I thought going all along with my life, you know, I'm forgiven. Um, I had repented. Um, I had moved on and I was now in Christ. Even going through a lot, just as a preacher of the gospel, mm -hmm. that thing's still gnawing at me. Right. I couldn't understand why I couldn't shake it. And so I found a scripture in the Bible. I found um, a uh, story mm -hmm. about a God called Molech in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. where they were sacrificing children to Molech. And so this was a sacrifice and it was a covenant that the people made mm -hmm. with this God, Molech. And what we know about covenants is in order for a covenant to be made, mm -hmm. there must be the shedding of blood. Right. So my perspective now is the day I got on that abortion table mm -hmm. and shed blood, I made a covenant mm -hmm. with that same God, Molech. Mm -hmm. Now I'm saved. I've repented of my sin, mm -hmm. but that covenant is still in operation. Mm -hmm. And so while I can repent until I renounce the covenant, mm -hmm. that covenant, the spirit of abortion mm -hmm. follows me. Gotcha. So here I am, I have a spirit of abortion. I'm a, a Christian, I'm a pastor, I have been ministering to people mm -hmm. for years mm -hmm. by now and I get a revelation that the spirit of abortion has not only I've not only let it into me mm -hmm. but I've opened the door to my bloodline yes I've opened the door to my children the spirit of abortion mm -hmm. so in the spirit of abortion guess what I found out that not only did I open myself up to murder in my bloodline, mm -hmm. but what about the killing and the aborting of my dreams? What about the aborting of my career? Mm -hmm. What about when re I would be in relationships, they would be going well, all of a sudden the relationship would be over. Mm -hmm. What about the aborting of relationships? And so I was watching TV one day. I was actually watching Facebook on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And I saw this woman by the name of Tiffany Montgomery. And she too, world-renowned preacher of the gospel internationally, mm -hmm. had had an abortion. And she helped uh, shed insight on why I was still not free from this thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I was married 13 years before my husband even knew I had had an abortion mm -hmm. 20 years before. But when I renounced it, Tiffany led me into a prayer of renouncing. It was like everything else broke. So repenting was okay, but now I need to renounce this thing mm -hmm. so that I break the covenant that I made with this God Molech. And we can see in the scripture, there was a covenant made at one time, and that thing went 400 years mm -hmm. until wow. it was broken. And so after I renounced it, mm -hmm. now I had to go replace it and apply blood, the blood of Jesus, mm -hmm. to everything that I had opened the door to, to the, through this abortion. And so that's my perspective now. And um, I know that I'm free. I know that I'm forgiven. 
but I also know that I'm free from that covenant that I made with the God Molech. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my friend, my Shiro, transparent. And what we have to do is let's talk about it. We're talking about it here, but we want to hear your thoughts. Hurts, hangups, and habits. Many of us ladies have had abortions and we're hurt from it. We've still hurt from it. Well, you hurt her, you have to renounce that thing. There are some dads that have had situations where their baby's moms have had abortions and they're hurting. And this is the forum right here where you can speak down below on the comments. Hey, that was me. I had an abortion. Hey, that was my baby's mom. She had an abortion and I never forgave her for that. And so now I want to renounce that thing because I want to break my family free from those curses, from those generational curses. And here's the opportunity that you get a chance not only to talk about it here and comment with us, Jewel Wilson Murphy, but my friend has just given us a wealth of knowledge. She and I went to uh, an event several years ago and I shared with her yesterday that the one thing I remember about that event was a dad that was there and he was so transparent. He was transparent in the fact that his baby's mom said, hey, take me to the doctor. I need to go to the doctor. When she got there, he realized it was a clinic, but he didn't know what was going on. She got out of the car, ran into the clinic and said, you don't have to pick me back up. My mom will pick me up. I'm having an abortion. He tried to get into the building. They wouldn't let him in. And to this very day, he's still hurting from that situation. And so today we hear now, first of all, we need to repent. We need to turn from those things that we've done. And then the next thing is we have to renounce it. We have to tell on it. Y'all know what I tell you. If you shout it loud enough, and that's what she just did. If you shout it loud enough, the whispers won't hurt. So what we have to do is shout it loud enough so the whispers won't hurt. Secrets keep us sick. And we just heard the things that people keep secret. It is no longer going to keep us sick. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I am Jewel Wilson Murphy. Again, I'm here with all photos considered. And my BFF, my friend, my Shiro, Pastor Yakio Watkins, we cannot wait to see your comments below and respond to them. Hope you're having a great week.